All right, welcome back to my channel. Unlimited projects. This video, I'm going to take a look inside the pulse pump for the lift pumps. Everybody kind of knows this is a pulse pump. It basically uh, pulsates, shakes inside, and then it creates fuel pressure. So I pulled this pump off of a truck um, and I thought I'm going to cut this thing open and see if I can locate a point of failure in it. I didn't know if there was dirt clogging this pump. It quit. It is a Carter pump. They're known for quality. So I said let me cut this thing apart and see if I can't find dirt inside of it. I want to see kind of what point would dirt clog this filter up or clog this pump up, sorry, this is not a filter, it's a fuel pump. So I cut the plug off it, and I cut it open. Inside, this was kind of all put together. I kind of broke a connection or two, and I have some other pieces up here, I'll explain where they went. So I pulled this part out. The wires are attached to this little circuit board here. Uh, bunch of resistors probably just changing the pulsation part of it then the back of this this had two wires that were wired right to there to basically the coil so this is the outlet side so fuel would come in this side there's a seal down here. This tube came out. Inside this tube is a spring. And there's your piece that you hear purring away in there. And all this is basically a hollow piece of steel pipe. I kind of expected it. Looked for dirt on it, which I can imagine any kind of rusty dirt getting in here. This pipe looks like it's made of brass. Um, probably can't be steel or else the magnet would work. And then this is steel, and this is vibrating around. This locking plate was in next. This locking plate, I spun that out. Here's your other end where the brass went into that seal there. So fuel came in through the tube. The coil energized, shook this back and forth, sliding inside of here. Basically, just created enough movement that this little rubber and spring thing would allow fuel to go through it and not come back. You can see how small that gets inside. And look at how small. It's definitely not flow. It's definitely not flow. Um, you know, productive really to flow because you rely on this little rubber thing. You can see it's got a spring on it for fuel to escape past it as this thing is basically vibrating in there, creating a one way check for fuel to go and, uh, you know, a spring to repel it. So the coil would force it against the spring, being it's, this thing is pulsating the power to the coil, force it against the spring, coil would shut off, spring would kick it back, energize the coil, push it against the spring, the spring would push it back. So you do that, you know, whatever its cycle really was, 500 times a minute or whatever 
and you created this going back and forth so rapidly that this little plunger allowed fuel to go through not come back so this thing vibrating back and forth would push fuel out the outlet then up to the uh, fuel filter and subsequently to the injection pump uh, simple yet effective but you know I didn't find um, in the end of this one there is another little rubber flapper I tried to pop this out but that the little red in there is one of those light little flapper uh, that would let fuel by but not back this lets fuel by but not back inside of here there was this gasket but no screen nothing to prevent really anything from going in here but I don't see anything up inside of it so I must have just pushed some rusty dirt past it there you can see I got my that was it so that's how a pulse pump works uh, these pieces were in the bottom. Uh, again, this was the lock to hold the coil in. Um, pulse the coil. Resistance against the spring, bouncing it back and forth. Sent fuel in and out. Effective, but low flow. Check out my other videos. Uh, this happened to be off a 6.5 turbo diesel Chevrolet. Check out my other videos and uh, you'll find some more interesting stuff. Thanks for watching.